Hey guys, and welcome. Today we're gonna to be working on the Manaday bike. It's a flexible fat tire bike, and we're gonna start doing the assembly for it and show you guys some tips. Just make sure you use a tool to safely take off the staples. As you can see, we use a double box protection. Next, remove the smaller pieces along with the fillers before you remove the bigger, heavier piece. Don't forget the battery and the accessory boxes. Inside of the box, you're gonna find the pedals, the tools along with the reflectors, as well as the throttle and the bell. All right, guys, please make sure to follow the manual step by step. Make sure to cut the zip ties carefully with the proper tool. On both ends of the tire, you're gonna have a plastic cover. Also take out the quick release as you're gonna use that later. All right, we're getting ready to get started. So just make sure you unwrap it, clip everything carefully, have fun. All right, when installing the tires, make sure you align them correctly. The quick release is gonna be, if you're on top of the bike, it's gonna be on the left side. Also, when tightening the wheels and the quick release, just tighten it until you feel it snug, and then you should be able to get the quick release nice and tight. Next, when installing the handlebars, make sure to remove all the screws. You're gonna use the four millimeter hex wrench to tighten it up. Okay, in this next part, we're just adjusting each bolt because if you tighten one all the way, you won't get it nice and even. Okay, here you wanna angle the handlebars upward in this type of formation. Okay, after you set it properly, make sure you make all the proper adjustments and re-tighten all the bolts. Okay, next step is now the seat. Just go ahead and install it at the proper height for you. Get a nice snug fit. All right, next we're moving on to the bow, which is optional. Just go ahead and remove the screws and install it where you prefer. Next, we'll be installing the front reflector. Then we move on to the rear reflector. The proper placement will be right underneath the seat. And next we'll be moving on to the pedals. Make sure you note the right and left side of each pedal using the wrench to tighten it up. When installing the right pedal, make sure you go clockwise. Give it a nice tight squeeze. And for the left pedal, you wanna go counterclockwise. Okay, and the very last step is to remove the keys from the handlebars. This is how you unlock it. Take off the battery. You can either charge it installed in the bike or by itself. And this is how you put it back into place. Just locks right in there. Make sure when you're charging the battery, you properly align the plug. Next, you have the throttle, which is an option based on your local regulations. And to install the throttle, you will have to remove the handle grips, loosen up the throttle and the brake, just to make sure everything properly fits in its right location. Also, make sure to properly align the plug. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Turn on the power. The rear tire already comes pre-assembled by the manufacturer. Works great, motor, test out the brakes. Everything looks fine. The only adjustment you have to make is on the front brakes and we highly recommend you have a professional make the adjustments for your safety. Here brakes are done, gears are shifting perfectly. Here you will find the tire pressure range based on both condition and your weight. Make sure to adjust properly. Alright, we're all done. Next, let's take it on the road.